Hello everyone, this is Trukiel and uh, today I wanted to talk about novel action in general as a game and I've been asked by many players asking me if the game is worth buying it. I mean the price is not low, it's over 20 euros, dollars or whatever you leave it should be, I think 26 or 27. Uh, or even more weight, I think, no, it's 37, 36, 37 dollars euros, so it's pretty high price for that kind of a game, especially in early access. And uh, I've been asked, as I said before, by many players in past, in future I'll be asked, and right now I'm getting asked, if the game is worth buying in the current situation, in the current state. Well, what I have to say, I think I can answer that question as a player that has hundreds of hours in this game that had a chance to sail all kind of ships, try all game mechanics or futures uh, and observing the development of the game for months. I'm really not sure if I should recommend the game right now. If we, even when I'm getting lately asked about this, I'm saying you should wait for the patch that is coming at the end of this month and see the feedback. Because right now you see there's 300 people only in the server. Uh, it's Monday, I know, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, afternoon and it's not a prime of a server but during the prime time there are about 500, 600 people on the server in the last weeks. That's very low compared to 1300, 1400 when I started playing and compared to the Steam launch of this game when there was a full server of 2500 people on PvP1. There was also PvP, uh, I mean PvP2 server US, PvP3 server and there was as well PvE server. Now the servers are getting closed, servers are empty, there are merges and it's not looking very good uh, for a lot of players are complaining uh, about the server population many players are quitting the game for a while or forever and from what I've seen play players are saying is that uh, they don't want to play the game uh, before the final release because there are going to be wipes they will wipe your ships, wipe your gold, materials, resources that's that's a good thing uh, before the final release and I can understand that the wipes are also needed for, for the game testing but the problem is the wipes might come with very good changes very good changes and not some of the things like, oh, let's test this, we will wipe your stuff, and then it turns out to be very bad things, and then we wipe again because we want to reverse what we've done, or we want to come up with other idea. This is, this is what I feel was happening. And... Uh, yeah, that's one one of the things, especially with the crafting system, with the five notes now, and different other things that came, and there have been good changes, bad changes, but wipes is something that players do not like, especially if they do not bring anything cool, because they can be accepted when they come with very good changes. Anyway, mm, let me see, I'm approaching the Kuba coast right now. Uh, wait, I'm trying to click a tower. I'm retarded, I know. It's only AI ship, that's fine. <laughs> I'm riding with a Spanish player that came across me with his LGB. Uh, as I said, if you're considering buying this game, there are few things you should consider before buying. 
wait for the sale because the game is expensive. I've bought the game on Steam Summer Sale. It was the only sale during one or two years of the game development, which is very disappointing. But developers are not willing to put the game on the sale. They're not. They're not really trying to uh, put the game on a free week play or, or say free weekend. Uh, like there are other games like Overwatch and other things, other game studios that are putting their game uh, for the free weekend playing, which is a very good thing to do, in my opinion. Uh, but they're probably uh, not giving a free weekend uh, because the game is not finished yet. That that might be one one of the reasons. Uh, the graphical user interface is still in the raw version but it's going to be changed and now the most important things might come up with the uh, with the next patch that is going to be or should be uh, at the end of this month this patch will bring uh, important fixes important changes and more probably will bring players back to the game. So, this the next patch I say the next patch will answer us a question if the game will be dead or not, if the game will die or will stay alive, and will be great again. So, oh, there is LGB Spanish LGB. How lovely is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just entering I'm um, about to enter Spanish capital in my LGV the smuggler flock yeah, that's absolutely fine I'm going to say hello to this guy Okay, so the current game problems are uh, that the game, some players say, has turned into a full-time job. You have to spend hours for crafting, for trading, and uh, and. This is really paying the ass to get good ships, good upgrades to do. In general, if you want pure PvP, of course you can go in uh, crappy ships, but players want the best things, they want the best gaming experience. So of course they're, they're just not willing to, to sail crappy ships because uh, they want good things to have for the combat. So for the good things they have to spend hours and a lot of hours of trading, sailing and doing other things to get a good ship and then they are scared to risk this ship, losing, the ri losing uh, risking a lose of that ship so they are not really uh, risking, they are not really going for uh, for the battle without odds, two to one or three to one, and <laughs> um, but as I said. You have to spend many hours for trading, crafting, to get maybe one or two hours of PvP on the PvP server. In the past it was so easy you know, to craft exceptional ships, best ships in the game. It was so easy to get upgrades, to get gold, to get everything. And, and new players had a good start. Many experience old players were helping the new players giving free ships giving free upgrades giving everything and players did not really care about losing first rate and then losing other ships because they could easily replace them with a new one 
but right now players are scared to sail to fight they run all the time run flee and that's one of the current problems I see and the, the engagement systems ganking grading uh, there are many questions if that's good of it if that's bad but to be honest I don't know the answer I'm just watching the changes Um, let me see if there is anything interesting AK I could buy here in La Habana. Nothing really, to be honest. You see, this is the Spanish capital. The only ships I encountered on the way to the Spanish capital was one Lagrun's Ventre sailing to the other port and the other one coming from the port. Two trading ships, no combat ships, only AI ships all around. Forward towers. That's that's really making me kinda sad. I mean I can go straight to the Mortimer town, the pirates capital, I can go to the Fort Royal, French capital. I can even sail India and the biggest and the slowest trading ship in the game without really being scared of getting caught. Uh, and uh, that that's absolutely sad because in past it used to be very hard to to just come careless into the enemy port capital uh, without being scared of losing your stuff. Now you can see you can do it easily all the time. I don't know, I, I really don't know what to say. Of course I'm not going to cry. <laughs> there are many other games that I can easily play, uh, enjoying them, but... Uh, it, it's, it's that I had really great hopes and dreams about naval action being great again. And I'm hoping it will be. But for today, for the current situation today uh, I cannot recommend you the game you have to wait for the patch for the feedback you have to observe the server if the numbers are going up or down because if you buy the game now you might be really disappointed or might not be but as a player that can compare the game that was few months ago to the current one I feel that many changes are being worse than in past anyway that's all for today a small I don't know how to call it audio block <laughs> uh, however you want to call it but yeah, that's all I would like to say answer the question if the game is worth buying or not. My answer is wait and see what's coming soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy!